Hey, it's me, the finance guy. Today we're gonna to be talking about why I think the number one reason you should invest. <laughs> Give me a like if you like having money. Subscribe and hit the bell. I make videos all the time. So the number one reason why you should invest, or I think you should invest, is because of compound interest. If you took $5,000 times 45 years, compounded at 8%, you would end up with $159,604. And I know you might be thinking to yourself, well, 45 years is a really long time. How do I do this quicker? And I think that the number one way that you can do this quicker is by creating positive cash flow and developing something that's going to bring you money passively. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's take the $5,000 plus $200 a monthly over the course of 45 years and see what you get. Well, it's a little bit more. $1,126,940. And ultimately, I think you should have multiple different avenues of areas where you can make money through here. Maybe it's real estate, maybe it's stocks, maybe it's, you know, something else. And that's why you see a lot of people who are very old, who are multi-millionaires or multi-billionaires is because of compound interest and because of time. Good news is, is I know now, and hopefully you know now, what you can do with your investments for the future and what you're going to do to get yourself into a better financial situation. See, debt is the enemy and debt is the number one reason why people never get to where they really want to be in life because debt is the opposite of compound interest for yourself. It's like a leech that takes away that money that you could be investing. And this is why it's really important, guys, and why you should probably hear me out for just one second, I think, that you should invest early as possible. That way you can learn all the fundamentals of investing, seek out other channels, seek out as much information as you could possibly gather and make maybe greater than an 8% return, or maybe you can finally get yourself into a situation where you can buy a home outright in cash, or you can buy something that's going to get you a lot more money over the long period of time. And being debt free, allows you to make larger contributions to something that could get you into a better financial situation. It allows you to be able to move into areas where you were looking to invest that you couldn't do before because it was such a high entry level like a home. There's many different things that you know you should do when it comes to investing that's going to get you in a better position life-wise. Life and a lot of people are just completely uh, unaware of the dangers that are put before them and that's why I started this channel is to get you guys to understand what you can do to take care of yourself financially do not take out massive credit card debt unless you plan to pay it off do not take out a home loan unless you can find ways that you can finance it and maybe pay down on your principal payment or find some way to be able to still make money into an investment account because if you're just putting everything into your home Typically, even if it does appreciate in value, it's not going to be enough to retire on. And if you start this at a very young age, you have the one up on a lot of people, especially if you had like 10, 15, 20, 50 thousand dollars already that you could put into a retirement account. You started this at a very young age, say 18. Just think of where you would be when you're in your late 40s if you had a good job or you had something that could really propel you forward to make better investment decisions. And this is why a lot of people are really wealthy is because they've realized this at a very young age and they've compounded their money into more money, made your money into more money. And some people think that this just can't be done. And the truth of it is it's very difficult to do because not always will you see an 8% annualized return. Sometimes, like in the stock market, you're going to see a 40% drop on your investment, and that's a very scary thing when you see all your money just absolutely disappear overnight. And I think the very important thing to remember is, um, you know, unless we have a complete catastrophe and everything just falls apart, then um, you should be trying to turn your money into more money. And if it does come to that day where that happens, well, you know, we're all pretty screwed anyways. So invest your money um, smartly. Invest your money into a way that's going to compound over time, develop multiple income streams. I want you to start thinking about what can you do now? Um, you're like, well, I know that we're at the top of a, like a bull run, but how long does this bull run go for? 
you know, everyone says that it's going to end. We typically have one every, you know, three to five years, and now we're on nine years. But what if it continues to go even further? What if it goes for another two years, and this year we see a, a 23% increase and a 25% increase, and then the stock market takes a 40% drop? Well, if you would have tried to time the market at that point, um, that would be very difficult to do. And I'm not saying that that's going to happen. It's very unlikely that I think that that's going to happen. Be prepared for your future. Think about what you can do now to better prepare yourself financially. What money can you save? What kind of things can you do to develop a better financial future? Could you stop spending so much money on coffee or Starbucks or you know shoes or whatever and put that into an investment portfolio? And where would that be if you took that $200 contrib contribution towards something that's going to you know effectively benefit you in the long run you have to take control over your life your finances and your future because no one's going to do that for you your boss isn't going to try and get you into a better financial situation he's just going to try and build his business the boss's boss is going to do the same three wishes mm, i want them to be good what would you wish for me no one's ever asked me that before well, in my case, I forget it. What? No, I can't. I... <laughs> Come on, tell me. Freedom. We work in an industry where you have to take control over your life and what you're going to do with your life because it's not going to happen magically. It's not going to happen passively. You're not going to get a pension plan. There is no unionized kind of businesses around anymore. And I think that a lot of people haven't got the light switched on to the point where they've got this broad spectrum of where the future is going to hold and why you need to take care of yourself and they're not investing it and they're not trying to take their money and make it into more money. And they're not trying to do um, things that's going to make them better financially prepared for their future. Luckily, we have avenues now that can teach people how to get them into a better financial future and a better financial standing. And uh, I'm, I'm worried for you guys. I'm worried for a lot of people because, you know, a, a lot of people are just like, I'll, I'll go home and I'll watch TV and then I'll go party during the weekend. Yeah, Ranger! And um, they, they don't think about, you know, what would happen if they put an extra $200 into a $5,000 account. No one really thinks about that. Who thinks about that? What 18 year old is going to think about that? What 20 year old is going to think about that? And by the time that they get to the point where, oh crap, I really need to think about that. Well, it's not already too late, but it's going to be a lot harder for you to get into that financial position where you wanted to, to retire at a much younger age. Oh yeah, I'm young. I should party as much as I want because now's the time to do it. I'm never going to be young again. And you're right in that aspect, but it doesn't mean that you should be fiscally irresponsible as well. So that's all I had to say for you guys today. I wanted to talk to you about that and your thoughts on what you think could be a good investment decision or what you think you should should do with your life and getting yourself into a better financially prepared uh, lifestyle. Thank you so much, guys. Well, that was super depressing. <laughs> Please subscribe, like, and comment, guys. It really means a lot to me. I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. It really means a lot to me that you take the time to do these kind of things and at least sit down and watch these videos. And I think it's very educational for a lot of people who are just learning about investing as a whole and getting themselves into a better financial future. Check out some of my other videos if you want to learn more about investing. Thank you so much, guys. Hope to see you again very soon.